Hey guys, it's Rainy Knight. Today I'm, today I'm going to show you how to do the Cursed Library. Uh, this dungeon is useful because it always gives you one wisdom, one vit when you complete it solo. But I have one other person in here, so we will just see what happens. First thing I'll mention is that all of these larger enemy types will drop, have a chance to drop a UT Wakazashi, uh, which is actually useful because it slows. Uh, so that is an unironically useful thing to get. And we are going to do uh, the Tyrim boss. So basically to do Tyrim, obviously on the minimap right now, the red dot is the main boss itself. But if you want to do Tyrim, you want to purposely avoid going to the main boss and you want to go for all the alternate paths. And once you see these little red switches, you just want to walk on top of them and they'll turn blue, which means you've done it right. But I'm just going to wait for him to get to the boss and then we will backtrack and uh, do the Tyrim as well. Uh, the rush itself, yeah, this is a dungeon that you should rush. You should not like do it normally, like clearing it, um, unless you want the walkie, of course. But uh, the rush is not that bad. The worst thing about it is the uh, darkness. When you leave darkness, you want to make sure you're in, you're in like a safe location. Those little white lines are going to stun you, so you just want to dodge them nice and easy. And he died pretty quickly, but if you don't kill him that quickly, then you are going to follow him around the room. So this is I'm going to show you the full boss room right now. So right now, you would, you would be following him throughout these if it takes too long. But uh, yeah, so on our minimap, you'll see we have two more red dots. So I'm going to go ahead and use this minimap information to go find them. So we have one here. And I don't, I feel like killing that for some reason. There we go. And uh, we also have one more red dot over here. So you basically just want to kill all of the red dot, or not kill, but you want to walk over to all of the red dots. And then you're going to head back to spawn. If you're doing this with a friend or something, then it would be useful to have a friend just, you know, sit at spawn and uh, wait for you to do the work so that you can have a nice convenient teleport once you've gotten it all. There's our last red switch. And uh, I'll mention the walkie that can drop in here will drop in a cyan bag, so like a turquoise kind of teal one. So at this point, we just want to go back to spawn. So I'll go ahead and put on my, my newbie tier 6 star because I have basically every tier 7 ability except the star and the prison. I have all the other ones, so it always makes me sad. So yeah, uh, down here, so the Tyrion boss is significantly more scary than the main boss itself. If you want to leech, basically, you can like get a few hits on it and then, you know, just run outside here and wait. But we're just going to do it the normal way, which is we're going to rotate clockwise quite slowly. And we're going to focus on the minions and we're going to try to avoid getting sickened. Uh, there are kind of sickened bombs that will come out eventually. <clears throat> So that was a little bit spook. I'm sickened, I'm sickened, I'm sickened. That was a little bit spooky, not going to lie, not going to lie. I'm peeing myself because I was stressed out there. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's just basically every shot, so we just need to keep rotating. I'm not going clockwise like the, the original plan, but desperate times, des desperate measures. Basically rotate any direction around the room and uh, try not to get sickened is basically the moral of the story. Ninja's not exactly the most powerful class ever, uh, so that's why that got a little bit suspicious there. But uh, yeah, so now you collect your your Tyrion blue. So there is a unique white bag specifically to uh, the Tyrion. And the last thing that happens here is um, the Realm Eye. So this is a reference to obviously the the Wikipedia Realm Eye. Um, you can type in basically any name of an item or character in the game, and it will like it will tell you about it. So I don't even know. if I've never done Cronus. I'm just curious. Cronus. No, so but I know Dirk works. So if you type in Dirk, it will tell you an explanation for the Dirk. And the reason why you might want to do that is uh, actually you don't even need to because they, they changed it. But when this dungeon originally came out, this is what you had to do to, to leave it. But now they now you can just walk up. But I'm just going to show you what happens. Basically, another portal. So now there's two portals that are very close to each other. So yeah, that's how you do Curse Library, the boss in a tea room. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.